I'm at Lava Beds National Monument, 9.37 a.m. Friday, January 14th, 2022. It's nice and sunny here, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little bit cool. To the north, you can see it's uh, cloudy and it's like 26 degrees Fahrenheit, so there's freezing fog. So I'm at the entrance to Blue Grotto Cave. I'm gonna do Blue Grotto Cave today. Even though it's above freezing, they got, excuse me, they had like frost last night and there's snow from before. So check it out, there's a trench here. Could be caves here, I don't remember. Sort of a little natural bridge there. I'm gonna stay on the main trail though. This might be a little slippery. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Holy cow, this is actually slippery. I'm gonna walk to the side here. They want us to stay on the trail, but that part is a little too slippery for me. Anyway. All right then. Well, you can see there's snow left over from before. I think it snowed, I don't know the exact date, but almost two weeks ago is when it last snowed. It's been getting above freezing every day, but below freezing every night. So the snow has been getting harder and harder, turning into little mini glaciers. A little bit of fun. All right, I need to get my uh, flashlight out. I forgot to have a flashlight out. So give me a second here. This cave has some skylights, but obviously it's still gonna be dark inside. So I'll definitely need a flashlight or two or three. All right. Oops. Here we are. As you can see, the entrance here is only about 15 feet in diameter. There's a nice metal staircase. It's a couple dozen feet down. Ah, uh, but it's nice and warm in here. If I remember right, this is actually one of the warmest caves around here. So, I'm only halfway down. Let me uh, take a look around here. So there's a little bit of room you could go back there behind there. I don't think I'll do that right now. Looks like it might be a little slippery. Yeah, I'll skip that. I don't remember how far back it goes. If I remember right, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's a dead end. I'm feeling a bit lazy, so I'm gonna stick to the easy parts. Oh, but before I pan up, look at that. Notice how the ground is mostly uh, light, but there's a dark spot. That's from water dripping from the ceiling. Alrighty then. So my plan is to keep turning right. Um, I think these are not dead ends, uh, but they're very difficult connections to the next cave. I have no idea if there are any bats in this cave, so I'll keep my eyes open. If I see a bat, I'll have to lower my voice and the light. Officially, you're supposed to say 30 feet from a cave, uh, bat, but realistically, the cave isn't 30 feet wide, so there's not really room to avoid a bat like that. So, just have to be very, very quiet. Notice the cave splits here. I don't know if it comes back together. I looked at the map yesterday, but I didn't memorize it. I've been here before, it was years ago. I don't have it memorized anymore. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna do any serious belly crawls, but I'm gonna go out this way a second. Check this out. Wow. Oh, that looks like a dead end anyway. I'll go up here anyway, just to take a quick look around. Yeah, if you're willing to belly crawl, I bet you can go back there. I think I'll be lazy and skip that for now. It's funny, this cave is rated easy, even though there are a lot of spots like that where it gets really, really low ceiling. But the point is there aren't any big dangerous like, holes to fall in. Oops, oh wow. I think I'm almost to another dead end. This is about two feet tall. I can feel airflow, cold airflow which means it's not a dead end. So you know what? I'm gonna very carefully 
climb back here. Oh, there it is. I told you there was air, cold air coming through here. Let me come backwards. I want to look at the ceiling here. The ceiling is kind of cool. Yeah. It's almost like a dome shape, but it's diagonal. Very interesting. Okay, so let me pan down. That's the way I haven't gone yet. This is the way I came through. We, all right, now, let's see if I can go through here without getting myself hurt. Oh, wow, this is tiny. You know what, I'm not gonna bother to go through here. I'm pretty sure it's the exit to the cave and I don't wanna exit anyway. So, yeah. If I remember right from looking at the map, that there's not like there's another, I don't know if there's another cave that way or not, but I'm sticking to just one doing one or two caves at a time for now. During the summer, when the days are longer, a little bit warmer, etc., I'll come back, I'll try harder to do these other caves. I'm just sort of warming up right now. Oh, wow. Look at that. For somebody who's really high speed. What's weird, I don't feel any wind, so that's probably not an exit. I don't see any natural light, but it looks like it's very close to where I just was. Interesting. All right. Well, I do like how pretty this cave is. It's called Blue Grotto, because um, the ceiling's blue. Not necessarily right here. Ahead of us, there's a part where it's even bluer, I think. Very uneven ceiling. Oh, wow. It's like a nice, easy trail. Oh, wow. Let me pan up. I want to show you something. So that mess over there is from uh, rodents like pack rats or something. And over here, look how the ceiling is kind of high, but it's not smooth. It's like multiple layers. Very interesting. But look at this. There's like a lava fall here. So you think, aha, the, it's blocked, we're stuck. But one, no, you can't fit through there, but like pan down. Okay, there's the way I came. Notice the ceiling's about 10 feet tall there, right? But you saw a trail coming this way. Why does the trail come this way? Because there's a cave right here. It's only about two feet tall here. But, I'm gonna check it out. How hard could it be? Okay, there's a dead end over there. 